While it's been a while since Dodge has had a real compact sedan in their lineup, we can't think of a better way to return to the segment than with the 2013 Dodge Dart. It's the first Dodge built on Fiat architecture, and the styling certainly looks the part. Based on the Alfa Romeo Giulietta, the Dart's low, wide stance is as Italian as Parmesan. There is a traditional Dodge crosshair grille up front, but it's wider and flatter, and it's just part of an aggressive front end that also features a large lower opening and front splitter. A lot of effort was put into optimizing aerodynamics, including active grille shutters, underbody panels, and an integrated deck lid spoiler. In back, there are charger-like full-width taillights comprised of 152 LEDs and dual exhaust tips. Inside, there is good use of color and lots of soft-touch materials. Front seats are plenty roomy, and everything has a European feel with a definite driver-focused layout. Gauges are part of a unique 7-inch thin film transistor instrument cluster that can be configured in a multitude of ways. And the 8.4-inch Uconnect touchscreen media center should put the dart at the head of its class when it comes to screen size. Powertrain choices start with the Fiat 500 Abarth Spunky 1.4-liter Multi-Air i4 Turbo, good for 160 horsepower. Next is a 2-liter Tiger Shark i4, also rated at 160 horsepower, and a 2.4-liter Tiger Shark Multi-Air 2 i4 that cranks out 184 horsepower. There are also three six-speed transmissions available, manual, automatic, and a new dual dry clutch transmission. You can definitely feel the Fiat Alpha influence when behind the wheel as the Dart is eons away from the Neon. McPherson strut front and bi-link independent rear gives the Dart a well-composed ride. Steering is very responsive and overall the car feels nimble and light on its feet. A wide range of trim levels are available for the 2013 Dodge Dart with prices beginning around $16,000.